you said some evil words probably 10 minutes ago. You said stretched <laughs> VLAN and a whole bunch of people mm -hmm. watching this went, ew. But that's yes. the point of this. We are safely stretching VLANs. Can you explain why this is safer than just extending a layer to broadcast domain over a zillion switches? Um, well, it's not super safe. Um, <laughs> for what we're, what we're trying to avoid. So, you know, Ethernet has a rule. Never let there be more than one way to get anywhere. If there is more than one layer two path between one MAC address and another MAC address, you've got a loop. And loops are bad. Loops cause all sorts of problems. Spanning tree was a method to prevent more than one path from occurring. Mm. Uh, lag was meant to allow more than one path to be forwarding at the same time by taking two, two or more physical paths and turning it into one logical path, kind of tricking Ethernet. We're not, we're not tricking spanning tree, we're tricking Ethernet. Um, spanning tree is still used here. Spanning tree is still used so that in case we plug a switch into a switch, we can still create a loop. Um, so spanning tree is still used. Um, so all the what we're doing is we're we're creating multiple paths for layer, uh, multiple logical or multiple physical paths for the packets to traverse, without providing more than one logical uh, more than one logical path. So it's kind of like a lag in that regard. When you say spanning tree is still used, does that mean I have BDPUs, uh, BPDUs that are encapsulated and sent through a VXLAN tunnel? Potentially. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, no, not through a VXLAN tunnel. Uh, they don't go through VXLAN tunnels. What, um, let's go up here a little bit. Here's where we might. I just so want to clarify most, if, if spanning tree is part of this eVPN fabric or if it's just something that a process is sitting there running in the background in case you uh, do something process, foolish. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. process is sitting there in the, in the background in case you do anything foolish. Spanning okay. tree and a properly designed uh, eVPN network should never, be act, it should never do anything, but it's okay. there in case you mess up. Okay, so okay. here's where, uh, so I've got a VLAN here. So this will be VLAN 100. By default, on most platforms, uh, spanning tree will be enabled for VLAN 100. So it's going to be, by default, sending out BDPUs out VLAN 100. If we're using VXLAN, um, it's like when you do a VXLAN, think of there's another interface on that VLAN, and that's going to be our VXLAN tunnel interface. Mm -hmm. So um, if you look, do show MAC address table, sometimes you might see that the, the MAC address is on, can be reached by a VXLAN 1. That means it's going to go across the tunnel. Um, it doesn't say which tunnel it's going to go to. Usually it just says that we've we got to go to a tunnel, and then you have to go up, up the config to see where, where it's going to be mapped to. But uh, by default, we're going to be sending out BDPUs out the local interfaces, but we will not send a BDPU out of VXLAN 1. Okay. We, we got a sp split horizon here. Mm -hmm. A lot of time, what we're going to do is we're going to do something to the equivalent of port fast, where, you know, port fast is kind of a promise. A promise, I'm not going to plug another switch into this port, it, and I'm just going to plug a, a host. Right, those should all be host facing ports, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're not going to. So usually in that case, because they're configured for port fast, we're not going to be sending BDPUs out of them. But we're going to have BDP guard. I think it's guard, so that if we do get one, we error disable the port. Yeah, as soon as a BPDU hits, oh, oh, that means someone probably plugged a switch in here that's announcing or sending out um, BPDUs. I'm going to shut this right. off to make sure that the there is we still have a loop free topology. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can you can still mess up if you have port fast and you plug a port into a port, you've just created a loop. Why are all the lights so, blinking so fast? <laughs> I have caused a bridging loop in 1997. I caused a bridging loop, and I was like, "Oh, these lights are really cool." Yeah, and literally, I did that actually. Yeah. Took about five minutes for the network engineer to run into the room going, what the hell is going on? He didn't say hell, he said something else. <laughs> uh-huh. And that's, I was a Unix admin at the time, so I didn't know anything about spanning tree, but uh -huh. I learned what it was that day. I did not mean to take us deep into spanning tree corner, but that was a good point to clarify that spanning tree is not yeah. running over the eVPN fabric. Okay. 
Correct. It might. It's probably running locally, yes. just to kind of prevent you from doing some other stuff. Thank <laughs> you.